All right, if you try this one more time, didn't get it right the first time, I'm on James K. Ellis, and a little small boat up on the Ohio River, about mile 243, and uh, we don't have a cook. So I got up a little early, I'm a pilot, and got up just a little bit early, these guys been working, I'm gonna cook a little something for them. And uh, what we're having today is fried cornbread, and it is absolutely scrumptious. I can't hardly keep my hands out of it, but uh, it's delicious. And uh, you get you a big bowl, put you about four or five cups of cornmeal in there, put about two or three cups of uh, shredded cheese, about a small, real small jar of uh, chopped up jalapenos, juice, all the juice and everything, three eggs, um, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, and uh, uh, melt a stick of butter, pour it in there, and uh, then, then take enough buttermilk to uh, make it about the consistency, probably about a cup of buttermilk, maybe two cups, want it to be about the consistency of a, of a pancake. And uh, then you get you a big skillet, put your cooking oil in there, and you pour these in there just like pancakes. They are really, really good. And here's some I just took out, just to give you a good idea. And I mean tell you, them things are some fit to eat. And then I made the guys some uh, dried beans today. And I had to, uh, you can't take any kind of dried beans. We're gonna have big, those big white lima butter beans. And took two packs of sausage, uh, Polish link sausage, and cut it up bite-sized pieces, put that in there. Put uh, salt and pepper um, to taste. Actually, fill it, put it in a crock pot and fill it up with water. And uh, then you take uh, about four or five bay leaves, put that in there. Some Tony Sazer rays, put that in there. Maybe a couple of tablespoons, about a tablespoon of onion powder, garlic powder. Then uh, take you, uh, oh, I'll try to think here right quick. I lost my train of thought, but uh, take that, bring it to a boil, and uh, get it really, really good. These guys work real hard. Come on in, son. He's been out working. He put on some, uh, some pork. Uh, pork chops. I'm not really sure what they are. They have like cutlets or something. Anyway, they're real good. They're going to have a good lunch today. And, uh, and your beans you take also and put you about a fourth of a cup, maybe a half cup of rice. Dry, just raw rice, white rice. And then just, I put these beans on about daylight this morning, about 6.30, and they've been cooking on high. It, it, now it's about quarter to 11 and everything's starting to come together. And, uh, on our, pork, on our pork cutlets, and little pork steaks, just salt and pepper them heavy, put them in a pan. You see the pan they just brought out. Put them in a pan, salt and pepper them heavy, cover them up with aluminum foil on 350 for about an hour and a half. Then you take, um, uh, take the aluminum foil off of them, pour barbecue sauce all of them, over them, coat them real good, top and bottom. Put them back in the oven until they get sticky. You want that barbecue sauce to get kind of sticky, not dry, but just a little sticky, good and hot through and through, and pull them out and they're ready, ready to eat. And uh, we're just about ready to eat here, and it is going to be some kind of good. I'm telling you, good. And then if you really want something good, tonight, Eat leftovers about midnight tonight, 
and you, if there's any of these this cornbread left you take that and put that in a bowl and take you some real ice cold sweet milk and put that in there and crumble them up and there ain't never been a box of cereal made that tastes as good as that delicious and so anyway i hope you uh have a good day we out here on the river trying to push the economy and make things better right now things are pretty bad but uh, we're doing our best and i hope you have a good day it's sunday morning hope you and jesus got everything together and you're on the right side of the of grace and uh, god bless you and have a good day